Building wellness and indoor air quality assurance is the current industry focus. It can be difficult to balance high system performance and energy efficiency. The KMC Conquest Airflow Measurement System was developed to provide accurate and reliable supply, outside, and return airflow measurements and can be applied to nearly any type of equipment, from small package rooftops to large built-up air handlers. The system's components consist of a KMC Conquest AFMS controller, an inclinometer, supply airflow pickups, temperature sensors for outside, mixed, and return air, and a proportional actuator. If you're using a BAC 5901 AFMS, an external differential pressure sensor is also required. In this video, we'll discuss selecting each component. We offer four choices for the controller, the BAC 9311C-AFMS, the BAC 9311CE-AFMS, the BAC 5901C-AFMS, and the BAC 5901CE AFMS. Which model do you need? Do you need to add custom programming? If so, then you'll either want a BAC 5901C or CE AFMS. If not, you'll be looking at either the 9311C or CE AFMS. Next, you'll need to consider whether or not you'll mount the controller closer or farther from the supply air differential pressure sensors. The 9311C and CE have an integrated pressure sensor port and eliminating the need for a pressure transducer wired to a physical input. We recommend using no more than 20 feet of poly tubing to make the connection between the differential pressure flow sensors and the differential pressure ports. If the pressure transducer is located away from the AFMS, the 5901C or CE would be a better choice. If you're working with an Ethernet network, choose the model numbers with the E in the part number. If it's an MSTP network, choose a model without the E. After you've picked your controller, you'll need to select differential flow pitots. The pitots can be mounted in one of two locations. A place with laminar airflow, such as six straight duct widths down the supply air duct, or on the supply fan inlet. When selecting models from the SSS 1000 series, it's important to select pitots that are long enough and have the correct minimum number of sensing ports for your system. Keep in mind that sensing points must be arranged evenly to cover the supply air duct. To figure out the total number of sensing ports needed, follow the following guidelines. For a rectangular duct, measure the length of the longest side. Then, consult the table to find the minimum number of sensing ports that are recommended. For a circular duct, or for the supply fan inlet, measure the diameter. If it's less than 10 inches, at least four sensing ports are recommended. If the diameter is greater than 10 inches, then at least six sensing ports are recommended. If you're mounting the sensors to the supply fan inlet, you have two additional models to choose from. The SSS 1112 has one sensing port, and the SSS 1113 has two sensing ports. You'll need to select enough sensors so that the area will be evenly covered by sensing points. Check the description in this video to see the dimensions for the pitot options. To select the required temperature sensors, choose the sensors that best apply to the equipment you're installing on. For the mixed air temperature sensor, choose a sensor that adequately averages the mixed air using the longest sensor that will fit in the equipment. This could be a copper averaging sensor, such as the STE1414, or a flux cable sensor, such as the STE1417. Depending on the size of your return air duct, select the proper rigid probe, such as the STE1402. For maximum measurement accuracy, install the largest sensor that can fit in the duct. For the outside air temperature measurement, our STE1451 is recommended. Check the description in this video to see the specifics for temperature sensor options. Next, you'll need a proportional actuator. In some cases, the equipment already has an actuator installed. If it's not the case, you'll need to select one based on the torque requirements of the equipment's damper and whether failsafe capability is required. Again, check the description in this video for specifics on each actuator option. Finally, if you're using either 5901 model, you'll need to select the TPE 1475-21 pressure transducer to make the connection between the differential flow pickup sensors and the controller. Remember, taking time to choose the correct part helps ensure the best results. If you have any questions, please reach out to your sales and support representatives. To learn more about the KMC Conquest Airflow Measurement System, be sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series. Or to get full details or learn more about any of the components that were featured in this video, visit us on the web at kmccontrols.com.